In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use offset walks and squats to help with your back pain. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by my friend Olu and we're gonna talk about offset walks and squats and how that can help your back pain. Now all you need is a simple barbell and light weight dangling from one side to perform this exercise. And I promise you, this is a challenging exercise. Now let's talk about some of the science behind it. Now research shows that whenever you have back pain, instantly you lose your proprioceptive awareness of your body's position. So the pain changes your body's to, uh, sensing ability to see if you're in a good or a bad position. Now what that means is that often, here's a model from Dynamic Disc Designs, if you have shear loads that are applied to your spine, you can see right now, the spine is moving from one specific segment. So our body has a poor positional awareness sense to see whether or not this is happening whenever we're lifting weights. Well, what the offset walk does is it actually enhances your body's ability to sense for position by activating these very, very small muscles that run within each segment of your spine. And they're very highly innervated with many small sensors called muscle spindles. And what those do is sense positional changes in tension. So all of a sudden, by doing something like this, it enhances your ability to sense for the position of your spine so that you can create the necessary stability to lock the spine down into a much better position and tolerate things like load. So this can be very helpful if someone has back pain that's due to an instability because it improves your ability to sense that bad position and lock yourself down, improve your core stability to then get out of pain. So here's how it's performed. You're going to have a barbell in a rack. You're going to take a very light resistance band and hang a light weight. Now, Olu is a much stronger person than most with a back squat of 881 pounds and he's not in pain right now. So right now I have a 12 kilo, so a little over 24 pound weight hanging from the bar. If you are much weaker or are dealing with back pain, literally start this with five to 10 pounds. You're gonna get under the bar and stand up. Now you wanna create as much stiffness like this is 300 pounds. Do not uh, think that this is an easy exercise just because it's very lightweight. Then you're gonna stand up, stiffen your core, and start your walk, trying to remain as vertical as possible the entire time. And when you are doing this, that bar is gonna be rocking around a little bit. And because the weight is bouncing around and moving around, it enhances your body's ability to sense position. Again, by triggering these muscle spindles of these very small muscles deep within your spine that enhance your body's positional awareness. So he's gonna do a walk, something like this. I would maybe have him do three walks down and back of basically, basically about five steps and then we're gonna go over to the other side. Now, if you have more room than the small platform we're working on here, maybe do about 10 steps. Some of you have seen this uh, exercise performed. There you go. Within the clinic, I have people often do 10 steps because we have a little bit more room. But you're gonna do a couple steps. Very good. Now this is an exercise that I learned from Dr. Andrew Locke, who's a physiotherapist in Australia. And it's something that he's done a lot of work on over the years as far as how we can enhance our ability to rehab back injuries through this proprioceptive work. And this is something that uh, JP Price, powerlifter and coach out in Kansas City, has used as a foundational part of his rehab. Now, one thing I want you to do when you come back with this walk is I want you to try some squats, okay? Again, this is very difficult. How's it feeling so far? It's feeling so challenging. Yeah. And your load on my back and my core at the same time. Yeah. It looks very easy but with the weight. But trust me, this will challenge you. Yes. So he's gonna try a couple squats. So again, this is something that you can do walks with. You can do some squats. Very good. And this is a challenge. Again, this is 24 pounds basically offset on one side of the bar. This man can squat over 800 pounds. And you can see how much of a challenge this is to him to be able to stay stable and to not lean to one side and to remain braced. What do you think? It's a little tough, huh? It's deep. There it we is. go. Very good. All right. So again, guys, 
offset walks can be a crucial part of back pain rehab as it's going to help you uh, enhance your proprioceptive awareness of the position within your spine. You're going to be able to create better stability and enhance your rehab to get you back to being able to handle more and more load. Something like this, start very low, five to 10 pounds offset on one side. And then as you uh, can progress, you can go heavier and heavier. But again, this is not something you need to go very heavy in, max like 35 pounds. If you uh, don't have a barbell at home, you can do this just with like a dowel rod or an end of a broomstick. So you don't even need to go heavy. So anyone at home, if you don't have a barbell set up, literally take a PVC pipe or a broomstick and hang a small weight off the side. But it's the bouncing around of that weight, the swinging around that creates that unstable uh, surface that really then allows you to enhance your stability because of the appropriate set of awareness enhancement that we get. So do you do both sides? I would do both sides. So even if you have pain on one side, yeah. you're gonna do this on both sides. And what I'd probably do is like on this, because you can take about five steps, I would have you do three down and backs maybe, or four, and I would have you do uh, two to three sets on each side. And that's what you would do for the day. And then we could eventually add in squats as that's pain-free. Again, for someone who's dealing with back pain, I don't want this to be something that creates pain. So at first, even the most load compromised people that even any type of deadlift or squatting creates pain, you could do this with 10 pounds and it's very low load, but it's a lot of challenge. So a lot of people that have a lot of back pain can still do this early on in the rehab and get a lot out of it. And what happens is that like you felt, yeah. when you're done, you're like, wow, there's like a sheet of armor across my core. Like I feel nice and strong. So can you also treat this as a, maybe like a primer yeah, like you, you could definitely do this, yeah. Deadlift or your squat days? You definitely could. So this could not only be something that you do to get out of back pain, okay. but something to continue to enhance your core stability and in a very specific way, because you get better at this, yeah. walking out. Man, when you get try to walk out 800 pounds, you're gonna be that much easier because you're learning how to create that stiffness within your core and not have any of that wiggle room. Because the more stiff you can get under the bar, the easier it is to perform then right after. Bro, I just added something to my to one of my arsenal now. There you go, I'll man. Try. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, man. All That's right. So, so guys, uh, thank you for checking out today's YouTube video. Uh, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please subscribe to the Squat University channel. Share this video with your friends. And also, please subscribe to my man Olu's YouTube video uh, channel as he's got some awesome, great content on there as well. Uh, until next time, guys, happy squatting. Happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have